Hey guys, first things first, uh, before we start today, I wanted to uh, quickly let you know and apologize for um, the uh, resolution and blurriness of this video. Um, I didn't realize until after I captured a lot of my footage uh, that the resolution output for the uh, video uh, capture was really, really off. So um, in the future, they will be far sharper, I hope, and uh, better resolution. So um, with that being said, let's get started. Hello, my name is Daniel Campbell, and welcome to another episode of Game Tester Bootcamp, QA Bootcamp, however you want to say it. I should probably uh, go on a name that, you know, settle on a name. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, the reason I am in Assassin's Creed right now is I want to show you guys how to practically test. Um, the thing is, a lot of the uh, uh, thing you know, teaching programs, uh, like, you know, tutorials, video tutorials, schools, and stuff like that, try to get down to the nitty gritty first, and then uh, show you how to practically apply it. I actually kind of want to go the other way. I want to show you practical application first, and then in future videos, we'll go into uh, more granular application. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to find a few bugs, um, which, you know, Assassin's Creed is pretty solid, uh, but, uh, you know, every game has bugs. Um, and it's going to be really unscripted. I'm going to find some bugs and I'm going to show you how to properly, properly document them. Um, and, uh, we're going to go from there and I'll show you how to post them, um, in a place that will hopefully be helpful to, uh, somebody instead of just, you know, putting it like in a word document. Um, that's not saying that you have to post them. Um, uh, but I do recommend actually writing them out and documenting them, uh, in a way that you would do if you were actually on the job. So, um, we will go ahead and get started. Okay, so here's a bug that I've encountered um, using the, I think it's called Rage of the Bloodline ability. Let's check to see, uh, Fury of the Bloodline ability. Um, whenever you use it on an enemy and they survive, uh, they ragdoll whenever they sort of body is done with the animation, it, it actually freaks out a little bit, like it seems to jump up in the air. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get that real quick. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, um, and that's actually kind of one of the more tame things. Um, I've seen it freak out a lot more than that and get stuck in walls and stuff. So uh, what we'll do is uh, ideally what you would do is you would gather a video of this, uh, of that happening, um, which I obviously have, but I'm not going to post the video. You would usually uh, use like, you know, a video sharing site like YouTube or, or Imgur or something along those lines. Um, and uh, what you would do is you would... Uh, let that accompany your, your bug. So uh, one big thing is whenever you're documenting bugs, you shouldn't need a, t a video or picture um, to say what the bug is, um, but you definitely want to include it if you can. Um, so so basically what I'm saying is the text sh should stand on its own. You should, shouldn't should need any kind of uh, video or screenshot uh, to for the you know person that's reading the bug to understand what, what the bug is about or, or how to do it. But it is also very, very handy to have. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and take a break real quick and we will document that bug. Okay, so I guess I kind of lied. I am going to actually end up sharing the video and the post. So uh, what I usually do, and uh, you can use just like a Word doc or something like that if you don't want to um, uh, post publicly. Uh, but what I like to do is uh, in order to stay in a good practice, I try to post on the company forums or the forums for the game. Uh, almost every uh, game has some uh, community forums that you can put and they almost always have some kind of support or, you know, report bugs here uh, kind of forum. And uh, a lot of times they'll be really appreciative. Um, I've had uh, developers reach out and show a lot of appreciation for, you know, the trouble you go through for uh, documenting and posting bugs. So if that's something you'd be interested in, you should definitely do that. And it will keep you in good practice and let you practice. If you haven't got a QA job yet, um, this will be a good thing to do. So the first thing you'll want to do is actually search uh, for the bug and see if it's actually already been posted. Because if it's already been posted, no reason to post it again. Uh, Fury of the Bloodline is what it's called. Let's go ahead and search for that. And we came back with, okay, two results. Uh, this one does not appear to be related, and this one does not look related either. All right. So now that we've gone ahead and searched and made sure that it wasn't already posted, we're going to go ahead and post it. All right. So whenever you're naming it, what I like to do is I like to say what kind of bug it is um, and just sort of try to be as detailed as possible without flooding the title. So let's go ahead and just say uh, gameplay bug, um, fury of the bloodline, um, ragdolling, oop, 
stalling enemies. All right. So when documenting your bug, you want to write out a pretty clear, concise thing. What we do is something called the PAL method. Um, it's not always going to apply, but what you'll want to do is uh, a PAL, P-A-L, uh, problem, action, location. So uh, we'll say the problem first. Uh, let me see. Uh, enemies ragdoll in an unrealistic and um, it sometimes does affect gameplay pretty bad because it throws them into the wall. Um, let's just say unrealistic and let's just say unrealistic fashion. Fashion when surviving the fury of the bloodline ability. Um, we don't really need a location because it can happen anywhere in the game. Uh, so we've got our problem, enemies ragdoll in an unrealistic fashion. Our action when surviving the fury of the bloodline ability. Now we don't need a location because it can happen anywhere, pretty much anywhere in the game. Um, but I am going to put some clarification to say I've only See, or her actually usually want to keep it objective, so you want to put you don't want to use things like I and me. Um, this only appears to happen with enemies that survive the ability. All right, please see video linked below. All right, so we're going to go ahead and link. I've tried on the Ubisoft forums before to actually insert a video, it doesn't ever seem to work. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just use our link. All right, let's go ahead and preview the post. All right, um, enemies ragdoll. And we'll go ahead and proofread. It's always important to proofread. Uh, gameplay bug, fury of the bloodline, ragdolling enemies. Enemies ragdoll in unrealistic fashion when surviving the fury of the bloodline ability. Uh, this only happens appears to happen with enemies that survive the ability uh, rather than being killed by it. Let's see rather than those that are killed by it. Uh, please see video link below. Okay, we're good. Let's go ahead and... Uh, actually, I like to go ahead and put subscription and instantly use an email. Because I always like... Because uh, a lot of times the developers will actually uh, contact you back saying, you know, could you give us exact steps? Um, could you give us, you know, a, a, you know, location that this happened, you know, what kind of enemy was it, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, so um, call me crazy, but this seems wrong. <laughs> um, I'm not entirely sure what caused this to happen, but I have seen it a couple times in this exact spot. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's a 100% bug. Um, all right, so what we would do in this case is we would take a screenshot. Uh, I use a program called GreenShot for my uh, screenshot, so I'll hit print screen. And I will grab quick screenshot. There we go. Um, save as... You usually want to name it something uh, somewhat, you know, saying what it is. So, uh, let's say soldier and T-pose. Um, yeah, let's just call it that. All right, um, now, that's what they called it. It's called whenever a, a character doesn't have any kind of animation to play. So, whenever you have uh, one of these characters, you know, like a model of some kind, which is, you know, any of these guys, uh, an actor sometimes uh, they're called as well, which is what the uh, model with the behaviors and everything like that attached are. Um, whenever they don't have an animation to play, they stand in what's called the T pose. Um, usually it's either arms straight out or arms to the side like that. Um, and obviously this one does not have, uh, you know, what's set up to, to actually play the animation or whatever it is he's supposed to be doing, even just ragdolling above the ground. Um, okay. So usually whenever you're testing for, you know, a game, like an actual game dev environment, they'll give you a console command that will show you the exact location you are in the game, like coordinates, you know, but we don't have that here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to show the map. We're going to zoom in all the way and we're going to take another screenshot. I'm going to make sure we get this thing on the right-hand side that says where we are. And that way, we can add a location. So that way, one of the developers or whoever it is uh, that is uh, reviewing the bug can actually go to it and get the exact location and know exactly where it is. All right. So let's go ahead and document that one real quick. Okay, so there's a lot of things we could search to try and find this, but I'm going to try and search for the location. Uh, which is in Akia, I think so you say that. I'm not sure. Poseidon's Wrath. Um, now, the odds of an end user 
uh, just a regular gamer finding this and finding is really good, um, but actually documenting it and documenting it correctly are pretty slim. Uh, so we'll search for Poseidon's Wrath. They came back with nothing. Um, there's a very good chance this has already been bugged or, you know, been documented. Um, but uh, there's a really good chance it hasn't as well because people a lot of times will not go through the effort of doing it. So let's just go ahead and say it is a level design bug. Um, it is, um, let's see, miss misplaced I'm not sure if it's really misplaced but uh, let's just say say what it is um, T posed soldier in the ground um, leave them up to the developers up to decide what the actual problem is because I don't know what their system is like uh, that may very well be just he doesn't have animation or it's just the wrong actors in there um, it's hard to tell so um, we're gonna go ahead and say what the location is first uh, but we're all still going to do the pal thing as well. So uh, it's, let's see. Actually, let's just go ahead and do the pal thing. Um, I don't want to muddle, muddy the waters by saying, telling you one thing and then doing another. All right. Um, let's just say there is a T post soldier in the ground at the, the location linked below. I'm actually going to write out the location as well. Location, uh, let's see. Let's move this over here so we can actually see. Uh, Kaya Poseidon's Wrath Battle. I think it's the battlefield is what it's called. Just, uh, here, I still got the game up. I could probably tell. Wait, do I have the game up? Did I close it? I guess I closed it. I didn't realize I closed it. Anyway. Um, all right, so oop, that's OBS. You guys don't need to see that. All right, now this is Battleground. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get so this is issue, location, and an issue. I'm going to get this link. Hang on, a link to the actual thing. Go drive, copy link to clipboard. I'm going to go ahead and highlight issue, hyperlink. Boop, put our link, boom. And we're gonna go ahead and get the location link. Google Drive, uh, copy link to clipboard, location, boop, boop, boop. Okay, let's go ahead and proofread. Uh, there's a T-Bill soldier in the ground at the location linked below. Um, let's see, location, blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's been, we got our links. All right, cool, let's go ahead and subscribe to it. Instantly using email and submit new thread. And all right, that's all there is to it. That's a pretty minor bug in the grand scheme of things. Um, but really, that's that's a topic that I'll get on in another video about what's considered minor and what's not. So moving on, let's do uh, at least one more. Okay, guys, this is another one that seems pretty obvious um, that there is a resource point uh, to loot that is floating in the air. Um, this is another one of those sort of design bugs uh, that you're going to, oh, you can slide under it too, that's cool. Um, design bugs where you're going to have to, uh, it's less of an art bug, uh, more of a, like I guess, a level art bug. Um, someone will have to come and um, place this properly. So um, we will go ahead and grab our screenshot. Make sure we get a good angle on it. Boop. All right, save as. Let's call it, I guess, floating rock. All right, wait for a little thing saying that we saved it. All right, um, maybe it won't pop up. All right, uh, we're gonna go and open up the map. Zoom in as far as we can. Uh, show it is right here. Then another screenshot. Making sure that we get the thing on the right. Um, showing where exactly it is. Say floating rock and location. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and document this real quick. Okay, so usually I would have um, two monitors set up to, you know, dual monitors, usually the best way to go um, as far as 
you know, productivity and stuff goes. So uh, let's go ahead and search this forum and we're going to go and search for the location. So let's say we're going to search for all of Hephaest, I'm not sure how to say that, Hephaestos Islands, uh, Hephaestos Islands, I guess. Looks like I've already searched for it for another bug. Let's go and search. And let me see, this is one posted by me. Oh, wow, I have a lot of posted here. All right, um, Unlucky Bandits, uh, Conquering Isle Issue, Unreachable Resource Point, Unclimbable Surface, Unreachable Resource Point, Unreachable <laughs> Resource Point. Uh, you'll run into a lot of those, but I won't, you know, muddy the waters right now with them. All right, so it doesn't look like this one's been posted. Let's go ahead and go back, post a new thread. Uh, we know it's sort of a level design bug. We're gonna go with, Let's go ahead and put up the location. I like to include the location usually in the uh, title. Um, you don't have to, but that's just something I like to do every now and then. Uh, let's see, floating uh, resource point. And let's go with, he fed, I'm really dyslexic. So <laughs> this is kind of, you know, and you have to perform. So anyway, uh, green city. All right, cool. All right, so remember our PAL, P-A-L. Um, we don't really have an action in this because it's just, you know, it's kind of there. So uh, there is a floating mineral, oop, mineral resource point at the location. Well, we can, the location linked shown below. Um, if you wanted to be more verbose in this part of it, you could just type out the whole thing. Uh, you could say there's a floating mineral resource point at uh, south of the synchronization point um, near Green City on the Hephaestus Silence. You could totally do that. Um, I'm going to just uh, go ahead and do a little more clinical way of doing it. Um, and, and yeah, you can do it either way. I think both ways work, um, but this is how I usually like to do it. So, uh, Hephaestos Islands, Green City, just south of Synchronization Point. I'm a terrible speller, by the way, but that's why we have spell check. Boop, boop, cool. All right, and we're going to go issue, location. Let's go ahead and grab a screenshot of the actual issue real quick, uh, which is this. Uh, Google Drive, copy link to clipboard. Boop, boop. Other forums would probably allow you to um, do a better job of actually embedding photos. Um, for some odd reason, the Ubisoft forums never never allow it for some reason, I don't know why. Boop, boop, boop. And uh, cool, I think that's just about it for that. We can, we're gonna go ahead and preview post and we will proofread. All right, there's a floating, floating mineral resource point at location shown below. Uh, Location, Festus Islands, Green City, just south of Synchronization Point, Issue Location. Perfect. Let's go ahead and see Issue. Perfect. All right, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and post it. Gammon, okay, you can do it. Um, but that's just about it. Uh, I, that's just three quick bugs. Um, I, I know it took a little while, <laughs> and I know this video is a very unscripted, probably a little little uh, scatter shot, but there's a lot to take in. I didn't want to get too into the weeds on how to stuff, but I did want to share um, a really good uh, sort of, you know, practical application of QA uh, before we get into the weeds about, you know, the more granular things about it, because there's a lot to unpack um, in QA, and uh, but I did want to show practical application first. So maybe if you wanted to, you could get started, uh, you know, on your own and uh, start posting things immediately. Uh, that way you don't have to wait for the videos to sort of all come together and, and at a head to where you can actually start doing things. So anyway, I'm rambling. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the doobly-doo down below. Uh, thank you very much and have an awesome day.